depending on your role, you're probably gonna have some busy work that needs to be done from time to time. And if you let it stack up, it'll feel overwhelming and you won't want to attack it. But if you diligently go after it a little bit every single workday, it'll never feel overwhelming and it'll be much easier for you to tackle long term. I know over my career I've had a variety of tasks like this. This can be very frustrating because the processes can feel like they don't add value, but you have to also look strategically and see, okay, is this thing that I'm doing adding value long term, like I'm recording my work with the stuff that I'm doing. Okay, I need to record my work. That makes sense. Now I know lots of these routine processes can be very boring and very tedious. I know some of the organizations I previously worked in, it really feels like we're we're taking this meme over here where you're taking this the circle and forcing it through the star. I definitely can empathize with that. But if there's things that need to get done, they need to get done. And just blocking some time off on your calendar instead of fretting every few weeks or whenever the deadline is, will be much easier for you long term. So just block some time off, especially let's let's use our brains here. So if you have some sort of lull around 2 p.m., a little bit of a caffeine slump, there's no meetings going on, there's no productive work to be done, that sounds like a perfect time to routinely block off for you to tackle these tedious tasks. They might feel like busy work, they might actually be busy work, but if the things need to get done, they need to get done. So just block off a bit of time and this will help you act more intelligently and not feel overwhelmed when you have to try to catch up and spend three or four hours doing some incredibly tedious thing every month or so. Can you think back over your career and come up with a process like this that's been better to just attack in small increments instead of a big batch at the end of the month? You should drop me a comment down below because I really have found that attacking it a little bit every day or every couple days is a lot better for me personally than trying to bulk do it, you know, one day or one hour before whatever check-in meeting there is to go over that the thing is being done. It's almost like we're back in school and all the work is done right before whatever the meeting is to check on the work, which I can appreciate because with the quantity and the quality of the work output, sometimes things do feel like that. So consider what's the best time of day for you. I don't have any silver bullets for you. I'm just trying to give you the tools to go make your own. So is your best time of day in the morning before you have any meetings? Maybe that's a good time to attack things, especially if the tedious task is especially tedious and annoying for you. Maybe when you have the most emotional bandwidth to deal with, it's a great time. At the same token, just be careful that you don't use all of your emotional bandwidth for the day and become irritable because you're attacking this annoying process first thing in the morning. See, I don't have any silver bullets. You're gonna to have to come to this on your own, but have a pause, figure out exactly what's gonna work best for you. And you're not writing any of this in stone. So you can always iterate on the process. I think everything in your work life is an iterative process and go and try something. If it doesn't work optimally, try something different. Pretty straightforward. That's all I got for you today. You should keep going on this IQ playlist up here. Or if you're ready to crack into emotional intelligence or EQ, get started on that playlist down here. Or keep doing exactly what you're doing. You're gonna probably get the same results you've been getting though.